Criminals in Lower Heart are the first to discover their favourite tactic for defeating police is now starting to fail them. A new encrypted digital radio system is being rolled out across the country and the old radio scanners can't monitor them. That means nobody can listen in to hear when they've been spotted. Dan Parker reports. Roger, what's your registered address? Lower Hutt police are the first in the country to go digital. They've been trialling the new secure radio service for the last month. We've found that uh, we can go about our business without uh, lots of people listening into what we do. Uh, tactically, it's a, an outstanding uh, advantage to us to um, be more covert in our approach to some incidents and calls for help. Since moving to the secure digital network, police say the number of burglaries has dropped to its lowest point in four years. Two weeks ago, a group of gang members were caught because they hadn't realised their scanner no longer picked up the signal. And there's also anecdotal evidence to suggest boy races are moving away from Lower Hutt. In the past, um, illegal uh, street races have been able to monitor police um, movements. However, now, without that uh, ability, they... Uh, perhaps are a bit frustrated or disrupted and uh, quite, don't quite know what to do. It's also bad news for many curious New Zealanders who own the old scanners which will soon be obsolete. During the recent siege in Napier, retailer Dick Smith sold out of the devices as interest in police operations peaked. But the new digital service cannot be heard on the old scanners. With the voice encrypted over the network, unless you have the encryption key, uh, you, you, can't, you can't listen at all, and that makes it very secure. Um, it would take many tens of thousands of years to break the code. Around $150 million will be spent updating the police radio system nationwide. Next year, both Auckland and Canterbury will go digital, with the rest of the country to follow. Dan Parker, 3 News.